क्वेश्चन एनी वन कैन यू गिव द एंसर बोथ विंड एंड वॉटर पॉलिनेटेड फ्लावर्स आर नॉट वेरी कलरफुल and do not produce the nectar what would be the reason for this what would be reason anyone do you know anyone ana solunga do you know okay listen uh we know both wind and water both wind and water these are the abiotic agent wind and water these are the abiotic agent clear wind and water these are the abiotic agent okay if it is the abiotic agent so nature does not provided nature have not provided any special type of floral reward floral reward what means of floral reward just look at what is the floral reward floral reward floral reward what is the floral reward first one is the nectar floral reward is the nectar fragrance nectar fragrance and color of flower nectar fragrance and color of flower clear so these are considered as a floral reward so those pollen grains which is pollinated by the biotic agent just listen what i'm saying those pollen grains which is pollinated by the biotic agent mostly insects okay mostly insects so such pollen grains or uh, such flowers they are provided with the floral reward such flowers they are provided with the floral rewards so here you can say in this in case of this uh, they are going to uh, pollinate with the abiotic agent abiotic agent means wind water or gravity so nature why they will provide the reward why they will provide because wind and water they are they don't know what is the use of that air will not take the fragrance wind will not take the fragrance water will not take the fragrance water will not attract to see the color because already this is the uh, non living beings okay so wind and water this will be not uh, this will be pollinate only those flowers which have not provided with the floral rewards clear because they don't know these are the already non living thing so how they know which is uh, how they know which is very good which is very good in color which have the good fragrance and which have the which are producing too much nectar okay in this way you can say here wind and water they have not provided with the floral rewards okay did you get your answer today i told already in pollination so maximum or uh, maximum pollination bring about by the uh, insect that i told already entomophily so maximum pollination occurred through the insects that you can say entomophily okay so this have given the name majority of the flowering plants use a range of animals such as bees butterfly flies beetles wasps ants moths and birds okay birds that is ornithophily sunbirds and hummingbirds and bats chiropterophily malacophily snail and ophiophily snake okay so but these are the most common so you can see so maximum number of the agent pollinating agent is considered as a insect okay in biotic either biotic or abiotic basically either biotic or abiotic so maximum type of pollinating agent is the insect you have to learn okay uh among the animals insects particular bees are the dominant biotic pollinating agent okay in uh, uh, above all of these so which is the dominant dominant is the bees okay bees that is the can you tell culture of honey bee is known as anyone can you tell culture of Epi honey bee Epi very culture. good very good abinaya ap culture okay the culture of honey bee is known as the apiculture okay apiculture culture of fishes is known as culture of fish is known as culture of fish is known as abhinaya kirtivasan bharti raja anyone solunga culture of fish you don't know okay so here answer will be the pisci culture pisciculture pisciculture clear 
द कल्चर ऑफ फिश इज नोन एज द फिशी कल्चर ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी हियर दे आर से पर्टिकुलरली बीज और द डोमिनेंट बायोटिक पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट ओके सो बीज और द पर्टिकुलरली डोमिनेंट बायोटिक ओके दे हैव गिवन द डोमिनेंट बायोटिक पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट ओके सो बीज और द डोमिनेंट बायोटिक पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट ओके इवन लार्जर एनिमल्स सच एज एंड सम प्राइमेट्स लेम्यूर्स arboreal arboreal means tree dwelling arboreal means those animals which is uh, uh, living on the tree lemurs and arboreal tree dwelling and rodents or even reptile also that is gecko lizard and garden lizard okay so gecko lizard and garden lizards have been reported they also involves in the pollination okay they also involves in the pollination phenomena clear they have given the example so first one it is saying the primates like lemurs and arboreal arboreal uh, arboreal primates or arboreal living beings that is the tree arboreal means i told already those which is living on the tree uh, trunk of the tree branches of the tree that is called the arboreal okay and rodents means they have the uh, you can say they have the biting ability biting okay uh, in case of the mouse mouse clear so they have the rodents so rodents or even reptiles clear even reptiles in reptiles gecko lizard and garden lizard also have been reported involves in the pollination phenomenon clear so these are the also animals which involves in the pollination and it involves in the pollination phenomenon okay so due to this they have given the often flowers of yeah. animal pollinated plants are specifically adopted clear pollinated plants are specifically adopted for a particular species of animal clear for a particular species of animals is it clear to all of you is it clear that means this yes, is sir. saying only the flower or the uh, the anim the plants which is pollinated by the animals that animals will be able to pollinate otherwise no one can do suppose that i am okay majority of insects pollinated flowers are large colorful fragrant and rich in nectar that you can say collectively this term you can use the floral reward floral reward clear collectively this term is called the floral reward floral reward means large size of flower flower are large in size colorful colorful fragrance this have the fragrance and rich in nectar rich in nectar clear so rich in nectar means these are the characteristics these are the characteristics those flower which is pollinated by the insect okay that's why they have already asked in your ncert why why wind and water does not need such type of the floral reward because they are already a biotic link a biotic things they don't know the Uh, they don't have the receptor chemo receptor olfactory receptor or other by which they can't see they can't uh, judge okay but insects this is the living being so they have the chemo receptor olfactory receptor with the help of this they can easily understand they can easily pollinate okay so they have given when the flowers are small a number of flowers are cluster into inflorescence to make them conspicuous okay it is saying when the flowers are small suppose that flower is the small a number of flowers are clustered into an inflorescence okay suppose that this is the inflorescence in the inflorescence they have the number of flowers okay just wait okay here you can say this is the inflorescence they have given the number of flowers okay number of flowers number of flowers it have given okay so as a number of flowers are clustered into an inflorescence to make them conspicuous okay to make them conspicuous is it okay is it okay to all of you they have given clustered inflorescence means they form a inflorescence by which it can be easily suppose so suppose that flower is the small if the smallest flower if they are going to form an inflorescence that means bunch of flower i told already suppose that this is the okay this is the 
this is the base of flower this is the base of flower at the base they have the different inflorescences inflorescence means they have like that they have like that they have like that okay so firstly the flower size should be small here flower size is very small but number of flowers is too much in this way they form the inflorescence which is clearly visible conspicuous they have given a number of flowers are clustered into an inflorescence to make them conspicuous conspicuous means clearly visible clearly visible or distinctly okay so here so if the flower is small nature what they did they adjusted if the flower is small we can produce large number means the number of flowers should be increased if the number of flower increase so there is the number suppose the small 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 flower but number is increasing in this way they will appear such a whole inflorescence and this whole inflorescence is the conspicuous means clearly visible clearly visible okay so in this way nature try to attract the insect okay if the flower is small but their number is too much okay in this way the uh, insects will see they will think the flower is small they have but but it is clearly visible they can uh, see and uh, come for the pollination they can see and come for the pollen okay another one okay another one animals look at here animals are attracted to flowers by color and or fragrance that is florally what i told the flowers pollinated by the flies and beetles secrete full order to attract this animals okay it is saying this flowers they have given uh, the flowers pollinated by the flies and beetles 